Have you ever tried dekerneling a dried corn cob only to find it takes a long time and you get a big blister on the end of your thumb? Well, you're not alone, but I'm here to give you a better option. Introducing the DIY fast corn cob dekerneler that dekernels a cob of corn in just seconds. It's dead set easy. G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make one of these de-kerneling gadgets so that you too can de-kernel a cob of corn as fast as I can. Let's get into it. Seriously though, these are very easy to make and I reckon fun to use. All it is, is a bit of PVC piping with some roofing screws screwed in at each quarter to make that little teethy thing there, which is essentially what de-kernels that cob of corn when you twist it around the hand. Now I'm not gonna go too complicated with this, <laughs> because it's not complicated, but you can go a little bit more complicated and hook the end of a drill into the cob and use the power drill to spin it around. I'm not gonna go that far. I'd probably lose a finger if I tried that. So we're gonna keep it very simple because that's the way I like to do things. You know, I'm a gun carpenter. I'm a DIY guy. Why am I laughing at myself? But let's not over-engineer this and let's just make it simple so everyone can do it. All right, to make one of these, obviously you need some roofing screws, some PVC pipe, and a number of tools. A drill, something to cut your pipe with if you wanna cut it to size. And of course, you need the corn. Now I've got a whole heap of glass or gem corn, Aztec corn, that we've left dry on a drying rack. I wanna make corn meal out of this stuff. I love a good old palmy chicken with corn meal crumbed on the outside. <sighs> Tell you what, that's my fave at the moment. It's a fave for the family too, and you should try it. I've got that video on my other channel if you wanna see the recipe. Rightio, let's start by cutting a little piece off. You just want it to be at least hand width so that you can get a good grip on the thing. This piece of PVC piping here used to be an old fishing row holder. We don't need that anymore because I got a bait. A good reuse of materials, I think. Back him there, and I reckon, yeah, about there. Yeah, it'll give me a good grip. So probably about six inches or so. Yeah, perfect. Well, not quite. Get rid of the burrs with a file. And of course, if you wanna be more safe, don't do it the way I did. Use a vise and get some gloves and wear some eye protection if you like. And steel cap boots for those extra safety conscious people out there. So now that we've got the PVC cut the size, it's time to put the screws in. One in about each quarter. I don't measure it out but you can if you want to. You want it to be about an inch back and that gives you a little bit of room and play for when you put the cob in. I'm gonna use this clamp to secure it here, but I'd recommend a vise. I'm just doing this outside because that's where my demo is. Yeah, that's looking good, but I'm not gonna finish this off. You can get the gist though. One, two, three, four, and you get this. So I'm not gonna waste your time sucking eggs, but what I do wanna do is alter this tool that I have got. This is good for larger sized corn, but it's no good for mini popping corn. This stuff is delish. It makes the whitest popping corn 
and delicious popping corn you'd ever want to eat. I've done a video on it. Anyway, this is too big. It goes straight through, just about. I certainly can't use it to de-kernel it. So we need to get a smaller hole through it. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna simply do the same thing, but on this side, but instead of going about an inch back, which is nice and handy for large corn, I'm gonna take it in closer to the edge because this is smaller so that I can then turn it nice and easy, almost half the way down or three quarters and then just finish it off on the other side. So I've got my pipe clamped down and I'll just remove this screw here because we're not using that. Those of you with a keen eye would realize that it's changed. It's got all of a sudden a lot lighter. That's because I've shot this video over two days. I had to see a man about a dog. So with this, let's just remove that. And what I'm gonna do is put obviously this in there. But the reason why I've got longer ones is just simply because this is the only ones I had in the shed. And I wanted it a little bit longer because I have to go down further to make sure I've got a small enough hole to be able to fit the mini corn. That's the first one in, I'll leave that for now. And as I do the other ones, we'll adjust. Now you might say, well, if you can adjust these, why not just adjust these ones here for the larger corn, screw them in a little bit further, and then that's all you need to do. Adjust it as you go for whatever size corn cob you've got. Yeah, that's not a bad question, but the problem is these screws here aren't long enough anyway. And if you do keep screwing them in and out, although it's pretty robust, what happens over time, it gets loose. So you wanna have the separate sizes, in my opinion. That way you don't have to touch it, and that way you'll have your tool last a lot longer. Yeah, that's about right. And now comes the adjustment time. And I just make sure the center is gonna fit through, but the kernels are gonna get caught. And that looks about right. You can just adjust it in. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as you're going, you can get it right and adjust it. You don't have to have it clamped up once you've got these screwed in anyway. It's just mainly to get this started. Then you can just screw them in or out, depending on how you're finding the use of the tool. So let's just check it out. Okay, the moment of truth. Does this work on mini popping corn? Oh, you know what? That's going through a bit too easy. It's working, but that hole you'd think was, I mean, it's, I can't even get my finger through there. You'd think it's small enough, but actually needs to be adjusted in a little bit more because that cob is just too thin and you're not getting enough hit on the kernels. I mean, you know, I guess that's why it's got an adjustment feature on this model. Okay, that should be enough. Let's see how that goes. That's better. Yes, oh, that's good. Loving it. So there you go, a corn kernel remover no matter what size the cob. How cool is that? DIY, easy to do. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big kernel corn, well not a mini one, a big thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching, subscribe if you haven't already and share the video around because that helps the channel out heaps. Thanks for watching, bye for now. Can't wait to have some popcorn.